Hey guys, it's Plant Pirate here. Um, I thought I'd do a really, really interesting uh, a video about a really interesting subject uh, that I recently found out about. In fact, this morning, um, and it's about how um, science has recently discovered that a lot of diseases that we thought were caused by genetics may actually be caused in part by certain microorganisms. Uh, and this is really, really neat because it means that a cure for these diseases that we thought were potentially uncurable um, because they were caused by genetics um, or, or were more difficult to cure may actually, uh, might actually be uh, easier to find a cure. So uh, I'm going to talk about a few of these. Um, I'll just start off with one really interesting one. Uh, it's a parasite called Toxoplasm gondii. And a lot of people just call it Toxo, so that's just what I'll call it. Uh, in a very sort of boiled down uh, sort of way, this parasite has two hosts, okay? So it is cats and mice. Uh, an infected cat will pass the parasite eggs into its feces, uh, and then a mouse that comes into contact with these feces will become infected. Toxo then changes the brain chemistry of the mouse to make the mouse less afraid of the cat, and thus more likely to be eaten, thus infecting more cats. Um, so when the mouse is eaten, obviously the toxo, toxo then affects the cat, and you can see sort of how the cycle propagates. So uh, how does toxo change the brain chemistry of the mouse? This is a very interesting question. Well, it's not as complicated as you might think. And just this year, a scientist called Glenn McConkey uh, in the UK sequenced the toxo genome, and what he found was really, really peculiar. He found two genes that code for a substance called dopamine. And you've probably heard about this before. Um, it's a chemical that's involved in brain chemistry. Uh, but Toxo, here's the thing, is Toxo shouldn't need it because it doesn't have a brain. So um, dopamine does a lot of things to the brain, uh, but it's also involved in risk taking. So a mouse with lots of dopamine in its system will take a lot more risks than one without. And so you can see how this, um, uh, this parasite is passed on. So, but here's the catch is that Toxo doesn't just affect mice and cats, it also affects any mammals that come into contact with cat feces, and that includes us. So 30% of humans are infected with Toxo, and we used to think it was just a harmless infection, whatever, most people don't even know that they're infected, they hardly have any symptoms at all, they just, you know, might get a sore throat or a headache one day. We did know that it's bad for pregnant women, um, because they might miscarry if they get infected, but for most people it's really harmless and uh, occasionally people who get infected have weird symptoms like hallucinations or more risk taking. <laughs> so the question is, might this parasite have some sort of effect on humans? So let's look for this chemical signaler dopamine. There is a certain group of people who have an elevated amount of dopamine in their systems and that is people who suffer with the disease of schizophrenia. And a study done by Fuller Torrey, he took a whole bunch of studies that had been done, he mashed them all together and put out his own study. Um, he lives in Maryland, and he found that people with schizophrenia um, are three times more likely to be infected with Toxo than, let's say, your average folk. And it's also been found that drugs uh, that are good at treating schizophrenia are also good at harming Toxo. Maybe not killing it, but harming it. So it seems very likely that Toxo plays a role in schizophrenia. What we don't yet know is why all people infected with Toxo don't go on to develop schizophrenia and why all people with schizophrenia aren't infected with Toxo. But one thing we do know about schizophrenia is that it's a very, it's a very complex disease with many different symptoms and it may be that what we think of as um, one particular disease may in fact be several different diseases. So it might be that a certain schizophrenic disease is completely caused by Toxo. One obvious step many people are taking now is trying to find a way to kill Toxo and see if that will cure some people of schizophrenia. It's just so cool. Like, what a cool thing science is. Uh, I think that's, like, absolutely really, really neat. And um, I'll be back with more information uh, about more diseases in a little while. Uh, just to provide my references, I got them. I got this story from a really neat magazine called uh, New Scientist. I don't know if you can see that. Um... And uh, they did a whole series on these diseases, uh, and hopefully I'll get to, to share a whole bunch of them with you, because I think there's six. Yeah, there's six different ones. So that's just the first one. Anyways, okay, peace out.